Well guys, this is what it's like at 5.30 in the evening. As you can see, there's quite a lot of activity. Everybody's got their stalls out. They're still selling pastries down there. People are eating down there. People are chatting over there. Everybody's walking up there. It's lots of activity, lots of things to see and do and buy and drink and eat. And if you like cakes and pastries, then you are in heaven. Absolutely, without a doubt. And obviously pizzas and pasta and awesome. And there we are, the sun's going down slowly uh, behind these buildings, I can't see them now. But we've had a lovely day and uh, there we are, the lights are starting to shine and twinkle. And these are all having a good old uh, chinwag and selling their clothes and people meeting up and checking out what they've bought and all sorts of things look. Well, that's Napoli for you. Downtown Napoli, oh yes, beautiful. Rock and roll. Well guys, we're on a train to Pompeii. All these people. One full train. Well guys, here we are at the uh, Pompeii ruins. Check it out, this is the entrance. So we're just about to go in and see what's there. Well guys, this is Pompeii. Yeah, that's Pompeii. And a lot of tourists. Well guys, to say the visit to Pompeii was breathtaking uh, is an understatement. What a city this must have been if you're ever down these parts you must come and visit this if you're into antiquities and roman period stuff this is the place to be it's got uh, steam rooms uh, saunas hospitals um, everything you can see here it's absolutely awesome um, and what they did they uh, look at the tile work on this when Mount Vesuvius exploded, the lava, once it uh, came through the city and obviously liquefied all the people, um, when it solidified, the Romans did no more than chop it up into bricks and start rebuilding the city using the lava, the solidified lava that came, to destroy, that came through the city and destroyed it. How cool is that? Magnificent. So, uh, there we are. Let me show you some lava. So I can show you some lava where they've rebuilt it into the wall. You can usually tell, obviously, because it's black. Uh, here's a wall of your normal sort of limestone and a bit of granite. That's granite. It's not lava. The lava is the porous stuff, like that. See how that's porous? That's lava that came down at the same time from, Vince, from uh, Mount Vesuvius, which is right just there in the background. So you can see the lava travelled quite some way. And it's uh, fantastic how they preserved everything. As best as they could, some of the paintings that are still on the walls, the original plaster, original brickwork, original piping, water systems, everything, the marbles, have all been well preserved. And uh, it's magnificent. So, like I say, if you're down this way in Italy, near Pompeii, Naples, then get yourself down here because it's well worth it. Thanks for watching. And this particular place area was the uh, courtroom and the judges sat up there on the podium and they had a soldier a Roman soldier on either side of them to protect them from any uh, prisoners that were going to turn nasty and it was always the king that dealt the punishment and this is where uh, the jury would the jury was up there the judges 
um, and it was uh, basically exactly the same as it is today. Uh, there was a defence, there was an accusation, uh, everything was exactly the same. And these pillars stood uh, 10 metres high, so it would have been quite impressive. Look at that, how cool is that? Okay. Yeah, so if you're a bad boy, this is where you would have ended up. In front of the judges. And then you obviously the king if you were found guilty. So there you are. How they built this pillar. And look there's some of it worn away here, look. Look at that. How they've built it inside and outwards to produce the columns. It's pretty damn cool, isn't it? On a bed of stone. That's granite. That's granite, that bed. And what they did, so I've been told, you can see how thick the plaster is on the wall. It's two inch, two and a half inch thick. Oh, look at that. And what they did, they painted like a tile on the wall to make it look like it was marble, to replicate marble. It wasn't marble, obviously, it was just plaster. And you can see how thick it was. There. There we are. So, uh, this would have been quite a magnificent room, although probably very worrying if you're in trouble. Not knowing what punishment you get dealt. But there we are. These buildings here are all shops, just like today in the High Street. They're all shops. And then you can see the coloured coloured lava that they've used to uh, rebuild the walls. There's a decorative wall up. But across there, look, look at that. But this is your lava. See how they've reused it? There's your porous lava. See? And there again. This is normal granite. That's lava. And there's your brickwork again. Look at that. Guys, look at this, where they've used little white stones. See, the white stones. But it's to mark, because this is obviously a road, it's to mark the end of the road lot. And there's Linda Lewis. How cool is that? Go, guy. There's the lava stuck on the pot. So there's only one time that lava hit that pot and that was the time of the explosion. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe. Well guys, here's one of the 92 uh, people that they found. They found over 600, uh, 1,600 bones, remains, but they died where they fell. It left a hole, so they filled it, the holes full of plaster, which worked as a cast. And then out come the end result of the, the person.
child. Boating buddies. Here's a Roman anchor for you. How cool is that? There you go guys, there's the ruins of Pompeii. And there is Mount Sivius that destroyed it. Oh guys and girls, <laughs> at Pompeii, aren't we Linda? Yes we are certainly at Pompeii. This is an original mosaic floor. We're actually following somebody else's tour, but he seems a really interesting guy. It's all original. Don't forget to subscribe.